Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and today I'm going to review for you the Gypsy Oracle cards um, published by Los Scarabeo in 2022. And um, a person, one of my viewers, wrote and asked me to review the Russian Gypsy fortune telling cards. So I found them on Amazon and they were such a good deal. And then this deck was recommended with it. So I ended up getting both. However, um, whoever asked for this video, it's coming. I just really need to study these cards a little bit more because they're completely different than anything I've ever seen before. And I'm going to try to have that video out for you in the next week. But right now, we're going to look at these Gypsy Oracle cards. Um, they were a really good price on Amazon, and um, I'm really excited about them because they're completely different. They're very, very different. First of all, it's a little box, um, and there's no author on it uh, on the outside. And um, it says, Gypsy Oracle cards, open the door to good fortune. Okay, so first let's look at the size because these are the size of a typical playing card deck. And um, I'm going to compare them right now to this Rider Waite Smith uh, size deck. And this is the difference in size. So the tarot card deck is about a half an inch wider and about an inch up to an inch and a fourth longer. So this is a smaller deck. So if you like smaller decks, if you have smaller hands, you may appreciate this. Another thing that's very different about this deck is the little white book. It looks like your typical little white book, right? Aha, uh -huh, but it's not. But let me tell you what I can tell you about this. So right now, um, again, it was printed in July 2022 uh, by Los Scarabeo. It says the collection... Is ed has been edited by Pietro Oligo and diffusion and marketing by Mario Pignatiello. So there is not, and we don't know who the artist is on this particular deck. Now, this little white book is uh, written in five different languages, English, Italian, Spanish, French, and I'm not sure what that bottom language is, but if you know and you would like to put it in the comment section, I would appreciate it. And um, so it talks about the gyp gypsy oracle cards it says folklore depicts the gypsy as a woman without home or master the ruler of a mysterious and magical world that she interprets primarily using these cards and it goes on and it says um that some people think the gypsy was madame mademoiselle lenormand the famous um reader who became the creator of the Lenormand deck. And these are similar to the Lenormand deck in a lot of ways. Then it talks about using the fortune telling deck. And I think this part's interesting. It says, the gypsy never read the cards without taking care of important details. Many were surely just for her convenience or to intimidate those who came to find her. For example, the light never directly struck the person reading the cards. In the half light, she shuffled the cards seven times and then took the deck, turned part of it half a turn, and then shuffled it again three times. In the meantime, those who came to her for help told her about their problem. And so on, it goes on. And then it talks about this cross spread, which we're going to do at the end. This is a 25 card spread, so um, it's going to take a little bit of time. But um, the funny thing that I wanted to tell you is that there are no card meanings in the book. There are no card meanings at all. So all of these cards are going to be interpreted by you using your intuition, plus the title at the top of the card and the picture. All right, it's all about what it says to you. Now, some of these cards are reversed and some are not. So I'm just going to show them to you. Um, well, let me really quickly unreverse them. I want to do the reading at the end because actually this is the second video I've made on these cards. And the last video cut me off in the middle of the reading. So I made sure I have a new battery and it shouldn't do that because I really like it. This was going very well, so I feel really sad that um, that happened, but I guess that reading was not supposed to meet the light, and that's all fine and well. So we're going to take a look at these, and then we are going to do that 25-card um, reading for maybe someone who's out there. It might be for you. I always feel like if you're led to watch a video, um, you're either going to learn about the cards or a, or a spread, or you're going to um, get a message from the reading. All right, so let's take a look at the cards. This is what the back looks like. 
um, this is what the front looks like. Each card has a black border around it with a little gold inside that. Um, there's a title at the top of the page and then the title in all the other languages and the picture and that's it and the rest of the reading is all up to you so let's look at the cards and then like i said we'll do that reading all right so we have soldier love thief pleasure seekers sorrow prison despair widower Young woman, merchant, priest, waiting, old woman, foe, melancholy, falseness, and oh, that one's upside down. Um, this one is frivolity, cheerfulness. And if I didn't say so, there are 52 cards in this deck, just like a regular playing deck. Wife, Messenger, Death, Sweetheart, Lord, Size, Size, S S I H, I'm sorry, S I G H S, not S I Z E, Conversation gift, misfortune, uh, misfortune, and you'll notice a lot of these cards have similar titles and pictures to uh, the Rider Waite tarot deck. Haughtiness, money, fortune, reunion, malady, service, room, Child, Thought, Journey, House, Servant, Faithfulness, Scholar, Constancy, Letter, Surprise, Wedding, Another upside down one. That is consolation. Enemy. Hope. Doctor. And friend. And joyfulness. And lover. Alright, so those are the cards. Let's see how they shuffle. They should be easy to do the riffle shuffle simply because... Um, Um, there's, they're small, they're smaller than, well, there I proved myself a liar. But they really do ruffle, shuffle well, I'll show you. I'm trying, well, okay. I was trying not to get, I was trying not to get them reversed, but you know what? I, apparently they're supposed to re be reversed because... They just wouldn't cooperate. All right, so let's shuffle them, and I'll show you. Oh, and by the way, the card's weight is, um, it's a good medium, medium weight. It's not thin at all. They're very kind of heavy cards. Not heavy, but medium, definitely, cardstock. I'm not going to pay attention to that one, just this, just yet. All right. And it gives diff um, particular... Um, Directions on how the gypsy shuffled the cards and so on. All right, so let's look at this spread. And friends, when I do this spread, this is going to be a 25 card spread. So I am going to, I am a person who gives a short reading. I like to cut to the chase while still giving a lot of meaning to it. And I know some people did not like my um, demonstration of the Celtic cross spread. Because a lot of people like to go into extreme detail with each card. And you can do that. But when I'm trying to show a spread, I don't do that. Because, um, first of all, that's not my style. And second of all, I don't think that really helps you to learn the spread. All right. So in this particular spread, the cross spread, that's in this book, um, we have position one, which is um, the current situation. 
we have position two above it, which is the past. We have position three, which is the near future. We have position four, which are the obstacles, and position five, the advice. All right, again, so current situation, past, near future, obstacles, and advice. Okay, and then we're going to put four more on top of each one. So present, past, future, obstacles, advice. Present, past, future, obstacles, advice. Present, past, future, no, I look what I did. Future, obstacles, advice. Present, past, future, obstacles, and advice. And that should give me five cards in each pile for a total of 25 cards. So let's look at the current situation. So this reading might mean something to you. Again, I always feel like if you're drawn to watch this reading or a certain video, that there's going to be a message of some kind in it for you, whether it's, ooh, I need to buy these cards, or um, the reading maybe have a, a message for you, or the spread. You can do the spread with other decks as well. All right, so current situation, we have death. We have haughtiness reversed. We have misfortune. We have an enemy, and we have a friend. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so the death card um, could be two things here. The death card could be mean, mean that the person you are reading for is going through a big transformation or that they have been through a death in their life. Someone has passed on that they uh, either knew or cared about. And it could be that. All right. Um, I don't believe this is predicting their death. I don't ever read the death card like that. Okay. So it seems that this person who has suffered this death or is living with someone that died, I mean, is living with the fact that someone died or they're going through a transformation. Right now, they've got a friend and they've got an enemy who are both very, very important to this situation. Okay. They might have suffered some misfortune lately as well. And, um, if they, and they may be, haughtiness is here. So there's somebody who is having a haughty attitude, like either they're feeling like they're better than other people or they're um, upset about someone and they're in the kind of mood that's like, how dare you treat me like this, all right? And you'll know if this is your reading who that person is, okay? So someone has a haughty attitude, whether it's you or whether it's a, uh, one of the people in the re that you're involved with. All right, again, so there's a person here who has, the reading is for a person who has lost someone in death or they're going for a ma through a major transformation. The situation involves a misfortune that happened, which could be related to the death, and it involves, involves a friend of theirs and an enemy of theirs. All right, so that's their current situation. In the recent past, this is what has been happening. We have wife, letter, child reversed, um, waiting reversed, and falseness. All right. So I'm feeling like um, the person who, invol who is involved in this um, has received a letter or a communication saying that their wife or their partner has done something false, has been um, deceiving them, all right? So they got a, a letter, a, um, a message that their wife or partner has been deceiving them, okay? They could have gotten an actual snail mail. They couldn't have gotten an email. They just could have gotten a message another way. And um, there is a child involved, so that's unfortunate for the child because if a separation happens, or a separate, okay, so this is the recent past. So there have been a separation happening here uh, with a child involved with this couple or um, perhaps this falseness has to do with someone being pregnant as well. And then, um, 
or thinking they're pregnant and um, they've been waiting to see if this is the case or just waiting to see what's going to happen. With They've been just waiting um, in the past, just waiting and waiting to see how the situation is going to play out with the falseness, the wife, uh, the message or the letter, the child, and and they, they've, they've just been waiting and waiting in the past. They've been waiting and waiting. All right. So, they've been waiting and waiting, and now the situation currently is they realize that they've got an enemy and a friend. Um, there is misfortune and either death or transformation involved, and someone with a better-than-you attitude or haughtiness. All right, so here is the near future, which is the cards in the third pile. In the near future, we have a messenger. Oh, there's a lot of messages in this thing. We have um, a young woman reversed. We have a malady. We have a thief reversed, and we have um, pleasure seekers reversed. Okay, so a messenger in the near future is going to bring a message about these things. This is what I'm getting. Okay, someone you're going to find out, or the person that this reading is for, they're going to find out that someone is ill. Someone is sick. It could be a younger woman. Um, it could be um, one of the pleasure seekers that you know, or that they know, several of them. Or it could be that they're sick because... They have gotten this malady because they're ple a pleasure seeker or they're pleasure seekers. And um, there may be a thief involved. Someone has stolen something from them or, or will steal something from them. Maybe um, the messenger is bringing a message that um, amounts to the person who they're reading is for feeling that something has been stolen from them. Okay, it may have been stolen by a young woman. Um or a young woman who the person is in a relationship may have been stolen by pleasure seekers, um, which causes the person to get sick. Okay. All right. Take this as it resonates. And this is when I'm how I'm interpreting the cards. And this is also an example. So this may not relate to you at all. This is just showing you how you might um, do this reading. Okay. Or you might say, wow, that's my situation right there. All right. So let's look at pile four, which are the obstacles that are hindering what the querent or the person you're doing the reading for. This is what is hindering the, what the person wants. Okay, so we have got um, widower reversed. We have melancholy. We have house reversed. We have scholar and we have a sweetheart. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so if this person, so what's hindering this person, if they've lost someone, okay, uh, to death, they're feeling melancholy, right? They're going to be feeling melancholy. Um, they may have a sweetheart who is trying to cheer them up. They may know a scholar who they're going to advise, or they may be a scholar as well. Now, one of the obstacles may involve something to do with their house, and another obstacle may have to do with a widower or they may be a widower and this is an, this is an obstacle because the fact that they're a widower is again because of the death that happened and it's bringing melancholy and that's creating an obstacle in their life. I mean it could be something like um, they can't afford to stay in their house because they've been so melancholy they haven't been able to work. Um, it could be that um, they didn't lose someone to death but they've lost a sweetheart um, and they're melancholy about that. That could be an obstacle. Or they could be, um, they may have lost their sweetheart to a scholar. And that could be an obstacle. I mean, so read this as it is. There's five cards in each position. So um, they can be put together any way that you um, intuit it. And, you know, you might read this and have a totally different intuition about what this is about. And, of course, it would depend on what's going with the person who the reading is for, or if it's for you, you know, you would relate to it in a different way. All right, so those are the obstacles. And then the last is um, the advice. And we have um, old woman, cheerfulness, consolation, constancy, and merchant reversed. All right, so the two reverse cards are the old woman, 
and the merchant. Okay, I would say the advice here is, since these two cards are reversed, is don't rely on an old woman for advice because in this case it's not going to help matters at all, okay? Or there may be an old woman you go to advice who doesn't want to help you, and that's fine too. Um, the advice is don't, you know, just don't rely on the old woman, okay? Second thing, don't buy anything to solve the problem because your merchant is reversed. Don't buy anything to solve this problem because that is not going to help anything. All right. And then the two cards are the things you, you are advised to do are to try to stay cheerful, look on the positive side, hang out with friends, enjoy yourself. Um, you might, might find consolation in prayer. You might find consolation in study of spiritual things. I feel like the consolation is going to come to you spiritually. So um, rely on your um, spiritual beliefs to bring you consolation. Rely on your prayers and your relationship with um, spirit to bring you consolation. And um, also practice constancy, which I am taking to be... Um, Continue to do the things you've done. Continue to do uh, to get through your life. You know, the things you need to do, the things that need to be done. And um, continue uh, making a habit of doing the things you always have done that will keep you on track and um, in a state of normalcy um, until you can completely recover from the situation, which whatever this is, again, the situation with your enemy or your friend or your friend who has become an enemy, the misfortune you suffered, the death you're dealing with, and or the transformation you're dealing with, and the haughtiness of whoever. And um, that is the advice. This is the advice for dealing with this situation. All right, so that is how I would interpret this particular spread. That's a lot of cards. I think it's really cool. And like I said, you... If you're doing this reading, you might interpret it completely differently. And again, you could go into so much more depth with this. Um, but being this is a, a video that I want to be fairly short and um, just teach you how to do this spread, help you to learn about the deck to see if you like it, if this is something you would like to um, work with. I actually really like this deck. So... Um, Anyway, that was the video, friends. That was my review of the Gypsy Oracle cards published by Los Scarabeo in 2022. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so. It's completely free for you, and it helps me out a whole lot. Plus, if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified whenever a new video is uploaded, and you won't miss any. I want to thank you for being here with me today. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.